Hi, I'm Todd from Southern Cross Flutes, and in this video we're going to look at how to choose a flute. Uh, the selection of flutes we're going to look from are, uh, belong to the Crafted For You Flutes range, so that's the, um, the flutes that I individually craft for people once they order them. These are a bit different from custom flutes, and custom flutes are flutes that are um, completely unique in their design uh, and the wood types. Uh, so we're going to start with um, the forest flutes and move our way down into the, into the through the various styles of flutes. And we're going to be looking at things like the um, the the quality of the sound or the style of flute, uh, the wood type, the comfort factor, uh, and also address the price of the different varieties as well. Uh, so kicking off with the forest flutes, these are the, the smallest flutes that I make. Uh, they are the most comfortable flutes to play and they also are certainly the most affordable. The forest flutes are made from heart rimu. This is a dense uh, native New Zealand hardwood. Uh, it's a very hard wearing uh, as well as it produces a nice bright sound. So forest flute has, or the aim line of forest flute has five finger holes which makes it very very easy to cover the holes and that has a high pitched sound. So that's a bit like all the forest flutes, the finger holes are easy to cover and the, the tone that it produces is quite high, quite bright. Now the forest flutes come in three keys, there's the A minor, what I just played, the G minor, which has six finger holes, and as well as the um, the D minor pentatonic uh, forest flute. Um, this one is a little bit deeper than the A minor. So that's the uh, the forest flutes. The um, you're able to go to the forest flutes page and you'll be able to see a longer video and also listen to sound clips of me me playing each individual flute. To get, and that'll give you a bit of a bit of a better idea. And on that page you can also read more about each flute. Uh, some of the key points for the forest flutes: they are small, uh, easy to get around, pocket backpack, uh, hard wearing, finger holes are spaced close together. Uh, for a really easy playing, they're versatile enough so you can play with other instrumentalists and certainly other uh, other uh, flutes in the Native American flute style range. Uh, the next flute we're going to have a look at, um, just sort of moving up in the keys, so that's moving a bit deeper, is the starter flute, and this is a uh, a plastic flute that it's imported from Canada, and I assembled them here in my workshop. Uh, it's in the key of A minor. Uh, the starter flutes are are beautiful in their quality and their the tone as well and um, the reason why I'm talking about this one now is that it's a really affordable flute to, to be purchasing uh, from Southern Cross Flutes. Uh, like all uh, Southern Cross Flutes it has six finger holes uh, it plays in a minor pentatonic scale and this one is like I just mentioned the A minor pentatonic. Let's have a listen to this one So it's a very ergonomic flute, the finger holes are spaced close together uh, for easy reaching. Uh, it's a an instrument that can certainly be travelled around uh, quite well, out into the ocean, up into the hills. Uh, it's certainly also a good flute to be, to be sharing, uh, as well as learning from, starting from. If you're not interested in making a larger investment, you can be guaranteed to get a flute that's of exceptionally high quality. Uh, all it's really lacking in is is the wood quality, and that's a feel, it's a sense, uh, and also the appearance of it as well. Uh, the next range we're going to move into is the uh, love flute range, so we're getting deeper in our flutes here. Uh, I've got three of them, three of the love flutes here, just for us to have a look at, and um, they're in three different kinds of woods as well. We're going to start with the A minor love flute. This one's in the this is the cedar, western red cedar love flute. It's um, got six finger holes in a straight line, easy to play, the finger holes uh, are not too far apart, so ergonomically uh, it's, um, it makes for, for a comfortable flute. Let's have a listen to this one. The 
and red cedar is a very bright and resonant wood, uh, which is a little bit different from some of the harder, denser woods, which we'll move on to next. Uh, also, some other points to note about cedar wood, it's not as hard wearing as some of the denser and harder woods as well, just because it's more easily scratchable. That doesn't mean it's not as durable though. The we cedar, western red cedar wood is, is an exceptionally durable wood. Now we're going to move on to a Black Mighty Love Flute. So we're still in the single barrel flute range. Uh, the Black Mighty Love Flute is a little bit heavier than the western red cedar flute. Black Mighty is a very dense hardwood, so it has a nice bright sound, very hard wearing, very durable. The finger spacings of the G minor flute are slightly uh, more further apart than the A minor, but uh, just ever so slightly. So as you can hear, we're, we're certainly getting quite a bit deeper in the tones of our flutes here, and also quite a bit larger as well. Price-wise, the the, um, the love flutes are around the mid $500 mark, um, so, so this is a bit of a jump from the forest flutes. Uh, however, you're certainly getting a, a beautifully crafted instrument from high-quality woods. Now we're looking at the Black Walnut F-sharp minor love flute. So deeper again in tone, finger spacings um, a little bit further apart again from the G minor, but for most people, um, typically these flutes are not a challenge to play. Most, most adults, I should say. Black walnut, hardwood, very dense, uh, nice bright and clear tone to it as well. Hard wearing, uh, another great quality of the black walnut. Uh, we're going to jump now into the grandfather flute range. So we've checked out the forest flutes, the small forest flutes, the love flutes, which is sort of mid-sized flutes. Uh, and we'll have a look at one of the just one of the grandfather flutes here. Um, one of the more common grandfather flutes that I craft for people. This is in the key of B minor, pentatonic. It's uh, made from black walnut. It has six finger holes and they're offset to the right. So that means my right hand's down the bottom and the finger holes are um, a curve off to fit the, the natural lay of the fingers onto the flute. So this is to uh, improve the ergonomics of the flute, making, making the finger holes more accessible for most people. Certainly though, uh, the large grandfather flutes are flutes that a lot of people will practice and develop into being able to play. The fingers take some time to stretch and strengthen, so uh, it's something that um, you're able to, to practice and develop some aptitude in playing with. Mm. So as you can hear, a, a really deep flute, great for meditation, contemplation, uh, to create that sort of haunting soft sound. The grandfather flutes are exceptional for that. Price-wise, um, slightly higher in price than the love flutes, around the $600 mark for these. We're going to check out now the drone flutes. I've got one here from Swamp Cody. Uh, this is a medium density wood, uh, stunning in colour and age, it's so around 40,000 years old this piece of wood. Uh, this drone flute's in the key of F sharp minor, so like the single barrel F sharp minor flute, uh, the finger spacing are the same, so um, typically most adults are able to get their fingers over these holes quite comfortably with a bit of practice. Drone flutes play a drone on the left, that's one single tone, and on the right side some melodic playing. Or we can play both together. Uh, 
Again, a great place to find out more about the drone flutes is going to the drone flutes page and there you'll be able to listen to all of the crafted for you drone flutes that I've got available. Um, and you can sort of hear and read more about the different qualities of each wood. Price wise, the drone flutes started around $890 uh, and are available in a selection of keys. What I just played was the F sharp minor, but just like the love flutes, the drones start at A minor. G minor and then F sharp minor. Uh, the next flute we're going to check out is the Harmony flute or the Mayan Temple flute. This is a, a, a multi chambered and multi keyed flute. Um, finger spacing wise, it's only uh, slightly more challenging to play than, it, than an F sharp minor flute. That is the, the bottom three finger holes here on the right hand side of the flute. Um, just getting a little bit greater as well but these finger holes are offset too to, to fit the natural layer of fingers the harmony flutes uh, have a thumb hole on the back so another level of coordination that people have to develop uh, but that comes pretty quickly as well uh, this flute here is in western red cedar it's one of my favorite uh, Mayan temple flute woods to be using also black walnut and swamp cody are available in this range Keys, and they're in the key of E and B. So this is the E keyed side here, and this is the B keyed side on the left. And so these sides play in harmony together. So we've got the choice of playing with one side. Or the left. We can play both together. It's a stunning sound. Um, uh, technically, it is a bit more challenging to play than, than the rest of the flutes we have here, but again, that's something that comes over time. It's an instrument that you're able to explore your musicality through. Uh, it's one of my favorite instruments to play, absolutely. Uh, and price-wise, same as the drones, around $890. Uh, the last flute I'm just going to touch on really quickly is a, is a custom flute. Uh, this custom flute has been made to order, so it's made from this wood called Riwariwa. It's a native New Zealand wood, and the end cap is a piece of purple heart. It's a hard rosewood, and the mouthpiece is also purple heart, and the totem is purple heart. So what we've got here, oh, and also, sorry, some turquoise bands set into the mouthpiece and the end cap. It's in a unique key and the totem has a different shape to it uh, and what I want to highlight is that these flutes are often always available for commissioned uh, you'll see on the custom flutes page that there is a range of woods that I have available at certain different times that I've found during my travels and you're able to using the um, custom flute builder to help design and visualize your own flute and then we can um, sort of communicate and create the flute that um, you're interested in having. So that's the um, the lay of the flute land. If you have any questions, it's best to get in touch with me and ask and clarify. Otherwise, um, weave your way through the flute shop pages and listen to the, the sound clips and the, the videos and be sure to read the details about the woods, the keys, the tuning as well. And that'll give you a good insight into um, what flute might be for you.